Hello and welcome to Gradient Tutorials, your resource for quick videos to learn how to use paper space. Today, we're going to be talking about getting started with Gradient Workflows. Workflows bring together powerful Gradient GPU instances with an expressive syntax to generate production-ready machine learning pipelines with just a few lines of code. This allows for a CI-CD approach to be undertaken while using the platform and introduces a higher level of control over your model training processes via GitHub integration. Before we jump into the resource, there's a few things we need to check and make sure you've done. Make sure you've created an account with us and have set up your GitHub integration. Check the link in the description for our guide to installing the Gradient GitHub application. Once your setup is complete, go ahead and open up the Gradient console and navigate to a project of your choice. From here, go ahead and click on the Workflows tab and then the Create button to open the Workflows Create page. Once you're in the Workflows Create page, the first thing you will see is a selection of templates. These are pre-made workflows which you can use and modify to practice with and better understand the workflows resource. Today, we're going to get started with the StyleGAN2 template, which we can use to train a StyleGAN2 model and generate a set of faces specifically for the seeds 6600 to 6605. After you've selected that template, navigate to where it says select account or organization and click on your personal GitHub profile or whatever organization you would like this tutorial to be linked with. This will determine what GitHub account will be linked to this particular workflow and have a repo created for it. So select whatever account is more appropriate. Finally, we can edit our repository name from the default to whatever we want it to be. So let's go ahead and name this repo Gradient Workflows Tutorial so that we know exactly what we're doing there. Once you've done so, go ahead and hit Create Workflow to create it create the repository, and start running the workflow itself. Once that creation process is started and the workflow run has been triggered, you'll be taken to the workflow page. Here, you can see these different green boxes representing our jobs have started running for our workflow. And then it's also denoted by this running status box over here on the left. These jobs within the workflows can be run in parallel or in series. And this allows for quick and efficient training and evaluation of machine and deep learning models. And using workflows, grading users can save a significant amount of time on these endeavors compared to working with single instances and abstract away a lot of the hassle of setting up a similar training system on its own. You will know when training is completed when the status indicator box on the left has switched from saying running to succeeded. And you will also see two green check boxes for each of the two jobs when they're complete. When you click on one of these boxes, representing each of these jobs, you'll get access to the logs for each. These logs enable you to isolate and identify any bugs your workflow run may contain and can also be used to display relevant information about the training process. Click on the logs for the StyleGAN2 job and scroll to the bottom and make sure that you can see this generating image for seed 6600 to 6605 all printed here. When you've seen all three of these things, including the succeeded box on the left showing up, the check marks for each job, and this proof in our logs that the images have been generated, we'll know that we have created our images and that they have been uploaded to data storage. So let's go look at them. You can do that by clicking on the data tab here within StyleGAN2 and then clicking on this folder 0000 generate images. Then we can click on any of these PNGs to open them up and be treated to a nice generated face. Now that you've confirmed that your workflow run has succeeded and you've looked at the faces we've generated and confirmed that they're all great, navigate over to your GitHub account to confirm that the repo has been created. As you can see, I've now got this Gradient Workflows tutorial, and this contains all the relevant information we need for our workflow, including the YAML files here in this hidden directory. You can use the stylegan2.yaml file and edit it to make changes to how the workflow is run. And we'll talk more about doing that in similar things in part two of this tutorial series. With this, we will now conclude. But well, you should now be able to set up a workflow following one of our provided templates. Run that workflow and use its features to facilitate monitoring of the jobs and to check the results of your work. And then see how GitHub integration with the workflow can allow changes to be made via GitHub commits. Look out for part two of this tutorial where we will talk about creating a custom workflow and writing YAML and Python scripts for workflows. Thank you for listening and enjoy using Paperspace.